So my name is Robin Franklin. I'm the Professor of Stem Cell Medicine at the University of Cambridge's Wellcome Trust MRC Stem Cell Institute. And I'm also the director of the UK MS Society's Cambridge Centre for Myelin Repair. And my research interest is in how to regenerate myelin in the central nervous system. The brain is traditionally thought of as a tissue that regenerates very poorly. Uh, but there are aspects of the brain that regenerate very well, and these are particularly relevant to multiple sclerosis, and, and that's how my interest in regen regeneration and, and interest in MS research uh, convergent. So the process of remyelination works very efficiently in young adulthood, but as with all regenerative processes, as you get older and progress through adult life, the efficiency of remyelination declines, and this is highly relevant to a disease such as multiple sclerosis, which is often of many decades duration. So our work really focusing on why remyelination gets worse as you get older is really fundamental to understanding the disease process and also fundamental to devising new treatments by which the declining efficiency of remyelination with age can be reversed. So this has been a relatively underexplored aspect of minor regeneration, something that we've felt we really needed to get to grips with if we were going to do anything meaningful for treating the progressive phase of the disease. So our work is laboratory-based research, uh, understanding how adult stem cells make new oligodendrocytes and how that process is affected by aging. But we believe very firmly that that's a knowledge base that's required in order to develop new therapies. Although we're not clinicians, we're making a very significant contribution to the development of new therapies. And the notion that our work could really transform the treatment and therefore the lives of people with MS is, is a real inspiration for us. So winning the Brancic Prize is a huge honour for, for me and it, it's, it's a, a great impetus for our work to uh, have it recognised in this way. The length of time it takes for breakthroughs and treatment to occur must be a source of great frustration for people affected with MS. However, the work that we and others have done in understanding the process of remyelination and the reasons for its failure uh, has made significant progress in the last few years and we are now at a stage where we're beginning to translate some of that information into clinical trials for regenerative medicines in MS patients. And so we've moved from a position of aspiration to a position of reality. We are on the brink of, of new clinical trials, some of which have started, some of which have reported, many of which will occur in the near future, which will really transform the treatment of this disease, and in particular provide treatments for the currently untreatable progressive phase of the disease.